I need to put master cylinders on this brake and clutch both. And that means I got to take the carbs off because they are back in here and it's really hard to get in there. And we're going to put gaskets in the carburetors anyway. So might as well just go ahead and get them off there now. And then we can get back into the master cylinders. So of course the hardest one to get to, the one on the inside bottom of the front carb here, was the one that the nut just would not come off without a wrench all the way to the last thread. Kind of seems how it goes usually. So as you can see on these big heelys, the clutch and the brake mass cylinder are hiding back down in here, back behind where the carbs are, and they pull their fluid from this combined reservoir here with two lines going one to each one. So rather conveniently, they got this hole right here underneath the master cylinders where you can take both the lines loose, drop them right next to the two master cylinders, and they will drip right down through that hole and actually just miss the exhaust system and you can catch it in a catch can down there to let the reservoir drain. So once you get these things drained, or while they're draining, you can get the clevis pins out. Now in this case, uh, both of these receive solid, so I couldn't push in to collapse them to get in to actually see these very well and get my big fat head in there and work on this. So they were a little difficult to get the cotter pin or the, the pins out of, but now we're gonna look at the condition of these and obviously this one definitely needs replaced. This one, while in much better shape, should still be replaced. So we'll put new ones of those while we're in there. Of course, the clutch will get used a lot more often than the brakes, usually, and see more wear. Now, both of these were hopelessly unsalvageable, and this one, just lots of uh, corrosion falling out everywhere once this came apart. So, yeah, these are both junk, and we got some new ones to replace them with. So, before installing the brake master cylinder, you see this is adjustable. So, we take a measurement from the face here out to the center line of the hole and I'll make this exactly the same dimension before I install it that way and then um, I can always go back and adjust it again later if I don't feel that it's quite right and it needs to adjust it anymore but that should put us right in the ballpark of where we need to be so once we got the new master centers in the car now I want to replace the clevis pins here. So I got a couple new clevis pins, one for the brake and one for the clutch. Now I like to take a little bit of light, a little bit of grease and lightly grease that up. Gotta have her lubed up. You don't want to just jam it in there dry. A little bit of lube here prevents wear in both the clevis on the master cylinder and the hole in the pedal. So I went ahead and took the reservoir out of the car and cleaned it up, cleaned all the gunk and stuff out of the bottom of it, which wasn't too bad. So if you'll notice, this is got two outlets at the bottom, one for the clutch and one for the brake. Now inside here, it's actually a dual reservoir. So this inner reservoir is for the clutch, and the outer reservoir here is for the brake. It's just all held in one can. So I got the new brake and clutch master cylinder installed, 
Now I didn't film that because as you can see, if I was in here trying to get my hands in here and my big fat head in the way, you're not going to see it anyway. So they are installed though. So I also got the new slave cylinder, hose, push rod, and clevis pen installed. So now we need to get the situation sorted out on the rear wheel cylinders, and then the reservoir can be filled up. We can bleed everything out and get everything working. So I've had comments before about fender covers. Now I don't use the regular pre-made fender covers because Quite frankly, I don't like them. Seems that they always slip and fall off the car and they don't fit the cars that I'm working on. And then of course, when you got these fender mirrors, they just, yeah, I don't like them. So the what I do, just get you some uh, bath towels. And if you don't have anything in your house that you want to use for that, just go to the thrift store. They're cheap over there. And like this, you know, get collars that you wouldn't want to use in the bathroom anyway, you know, and that way you know they're your shop towels. So, like here, you put it on here and you get these spring clips. Now you don't want to get these really strong ones, right? Just go to the dollar store or whatever and get you some of those cheap ones that aren't nearly as strong. And you wrap this thing right around here and that'll stay right in place. If you get some of those really super strong ones, depending on how you can clamp them, sometimes you need to clamp them this way, and a super strong one can sometimes chip the paint. So, and then you can take these little ones and just clip the two towels together, or go like this and clip them together to hold them right here, and then good to go.